Joshua Tree National Park, a land where time slows down and the natural world takes center stage. Out here, the desert stretches wide and endless, an ocean of sand, stone, and silence. In the stillness of this desert, we've come to discover a world painted by wind and shaped by time. Located in Southern California, Joshua Tree resides in two distinct ecosystems, the Mojave and the Colorado Deserts. A fascinating variety of plants and animals make their homes here, a land sculpted by strong winds, time, and occasional heavy rainfall. For the next four days, we'll call this place home. One of the very first things we did was stop by the park's visitor center. It's always a good idea to check in and gather maps, weather information, and current events happening at the park. Not only that, there's always something really cool to buy. Hey everybody, we just made it to the KOA here at Joshua Tree, Palm Springs, and it is 103 degrees. <laughs> We weren't expecting it to be that hot, but we have lots of water. We're going to do a lot of beautiful photography. And since it's so hot and it's dinner time, we're going to go off to dinner. And where are we going? Uh, we're going to Bubba's Bones and Brews. Cold beer is in order. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Along with some water. All right. We'll see you there. All right. Bye-bye. How do you like those ribs? Oh, fantastic, especially after a long day traveling. So nice to have a beer and perfect bones and brew. <laughs> Good stuff. Good morning. On our first morning, we woke up before the sunrise and got ready for our first hike, the Hidden Valley Loop Trail. This place is ancient, a land shaped by forces greater than us. Every rock tells a story, and each step leads deeper into its history. We came with a purpose, to capture the soul of the desert through our lens. But in these moments, the desert captures us. With every step, there's something new to discover. Whether it's the intricate textures of the rocks, or the quiet beauty of the desert plants that thrive here. We woke up really, really early this morning and we went to do some hiking and now we are just about ready to go do some indoor activities. We're going to go to the casino and play some bingo. Wish us luck. After a beautiful morning of hiking and discovery, Lil and I decided to wind down in one of our favorite ways by heading to the casino. This time it was the Agua Caliente Casino. We don't have a casino nearby where we live, so nights like this are always a special treat. We tried our luck at the slots, feeling the excitement of every spin, and Lil finally got some bonus spins. What happened? He likes me.
and we couldn't resist a few rounds of bingo. It's something we've always enjoyed together, and tonight was no exception. We're ahead, folks. <laughs> it was the perfect way to end a day of adventure. A little bit of fun and a lot of memories. The Joshua Tree Palm Springs KOA is in a great location for those wanting to visit both the park and Palm Springs. However, we wanted to spend most of our time in the park for hiking and photography. So, we decided to move to the 29 Palms RV Resort, which is located within just a few miles of the park's east entrance. This is a very beautiful RV park, and the staff here are excellent. Even if you don't have an RV, they have a lot of nice cabins here that you can rent. They even have a 10-hole golf course right next door called the Roadrunner Dunes Golf Course. We made it to our campsite and unhitched, and everything was perfect until... I've never ever had that happen before. The trailer just rolled right off of the orange blocks right into the ground. Now we have to lift it up. Get it back in there. Well, thanks to that nice gentleman, we got a trailer back up on the blocks. And over there, I put some chocks into the wheel just to make sure nothing rolls. So there we go. We're set. After we got our campsite set up safe and secure, we took a ride out to a very special place in the park for a sunset hike. We're taking a walk through one of the park's most unique spots, the Choya Cactus Garden. It's an otherworldly sight, especially at sunset when the light makes these spiky little plants glow like they're on fire. These plants are known as teddy bear choya, but be careful, these cacti are beautiful, but not exactly cuddly. You certainly don't want to get too close. Time slows here, as the desert prepares for its most dramatic show. The sun, slipping behind the horizon, sets the sky on fire, and we, mere spectators, sit in awe of the world's oldest performance. The day after, we explored the surreal beauty of the Choya Cactus Garden. We made our way to Joshua Tree Saloon for a well-deserved meal before our next hike. This is a fun and lively spot with rustic, wild west decor that instantly puts you in the desert spirit. The atmosphere here is buzzing with energy, and the happy hour deals are unbeatable. Ice cold beer and delicious food that really hits the spot. Whether you're a local or a traveler, this saloon is the perfect spot to eat while visiting Joshua Tree. It's relaxed, welcoming, and full of character. Okay, we are at the Joshua Tree Saloon, and I'm having black bean taco. <laughs> See ya. Ah, uh, looks good. I went with the boneless wings and some kind of Jack Daniels sauce. Should be good. All right, the Joshua Tree Saloon. Cheers. All right, that was it for Joshua Tree Saloon. Really good dinner. Now we're going to head over to the Skull Rock. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Food is great. Food is great. In the heart of Joshua Tree National Park stands Skull Rock, an ancient monument shaped over millions of years by wind and time. This surreal landscape feels otherworldly, like stepping into a dream where the ordinary rules of nature don't apply. Out here, under a blanket of stars, the universe reveals its secrets. 
And tonight, it's giving us a gift few ever see in this part of the world, a brush of the northern lights. It's a fleeting moment, a reminder that magic still exists, if you know where to look. In this sky, time seems to stand still, and for just a moment, we're a part of something much larger than ourselves. Good morning, everybody. It's our very last day here at Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, this evening, we're going to take a ride up to Keys View uh, to, to catch the sunset. So stick around. It's going to be fun. Before our next sunset hike, we wanted to grab something good to eat. So we stopped by Rocky's Pizza in 29 Palms. It's a local favorite known for its delicious, freshly made pizza. Rocky's Pizza, what did you think? What did I think? I haven't had an antipasto salad in a very long time, so this was a real treat. I love the pepperoni and the ham and the cheese and all the, all, all the little fixings in the salad, so that was great. The pizza was good. It was, you know, it was, it was, it was very good. The service could have used a little help. Um, good vibe score. I'd give it a one out of five being the best so uh that that was a bit of a disappointment but that's not going to spoil my fun i'm going to finish eating my pizza All right. <laughs> one of the highlights of joshua tree has to be at sunsets and for one of the best views we headed up to keys view here you can take in the vast desert stretching all the way to the San Andreas Fault and beyond. This is a photographer's paradise. The warm desert light at sunrise or sunset makes for some incredible images. Okay, it's windy up here. We made it to Keys View for the sunset. Just waiting for the sun to go down. Hopefully we can stand the wind for that long. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about watching the desert as the sun sets. It's peaceful, almost meditative. You'll want to take a moment and just be still. Joshua Tree may be a desert, but it's full of life, color, and surprises. And for us, this trip has been a reminder that sometimes the best adventures are the ones where you slow down, quiet the mind, and take it all in. Four days in Joshua Tree National Park, and it feels like we've barely scratched the surface of what this incredible park has to offer. There's something magical about this place that stays with you. Well, we're saying goodbye to Joshua Tree National Park, and we are at Keys View watching a sunset right now. Yeah. And there's something I wanted to ask Tim, what? and that is, what was your favorite part of the trip we spent? You know, I actually, I had no idea I could get up before the sun came up. <laughs> that was new for me. Um, and you know what? It was really magical. I'm going to have to do that more often. Uh, the, the morning light was beautiful. It was. It absolutely was. And uh, would you like to ask what, what I learned? What did you learn, Lil? <laughs> I learned how to use my iPhone oh. as a camera. And it was the yeah. first time I did some composition in the right. early, morning, early morning light. Yeah. And just just some really great photos and we're going to put it on our channel maybe at the end of this yeah and i think we'll put it on put some photos on at the end she took some wonderful photos so thank you Good really teacher. really impressed yeah. yeah so thanks everyone for sticking around with us and watching the video and uh coming along with us we had a wonderful time and we've got a lot more to come and don't forget to like and subscribe and help us with our channel. We're having a lot of fun and hopefully we're bringing you some real value to your travels. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.